Uh, if you could look into the camera, this is for the jump. If you could say it's a make or mislead. I don't believe that. Okay. Then you don't have to say it. I appreciate it. It's a make or mislead. I think we're all still getting over Boban, man. Uh, uh, make <laughs> cops. Kawhi Leonard yammed, that's a verb, all over Robert Covington. By the way, look at the good oh, defense Robert he did. Covington. And then Terrence Davis takes off for the slam on Marquise Chris. I want to say which one Terrence was better, Davis. but I just want to point out. I just <laughs> okay. want to point out that the Rockets actually played good defense. P.J. Tucker, look at P.J. Tucker. He's playing good. P.J. Tucker played good defense. Then, the then Rockets, Covington plural. picks up. That was a good, that, that was a pretty good season. I mean, Davis like, was, yeah. was better, but better defense. Yeah, this makes me go, like, hold me back. <laughs> Why? No. I'm picking Kawhi because of better defense. Picking Terrence, Kawhi. no, all right, no. But Malik is going with the rookie, Terrence Davis. Absolutely. I'm going with Terrence Davis. Right. But good D from the Rockets on that possession. Miss lefties. Zion Williamson is seen signing some of basketballs, and he signs his last name first because he's a lefty. Because he's got to, like, doesn't want to get it on his hand. Um, Malika, yeah. should Zion shorten this? This is an yeah, awful no, long time. Yeah, no, we should time. be doing like the Zorro, like the. It's a big Z. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like that sort of a thing. We do it like that. Yeah, with the, like, exactly. The <laughs> who signs anything? What is this? 1964. People just take selfies. Like, what is, what is like? He's in selfie. sixth grade. He's making every it's so letter. Neat. It's, it's great. Cute. I like it. it. It is. It's very nice. They don't learn to so. sign anything anymore. Maybe Zion just because he knew this was going to be on film, he was just really nice. Really taking the time. But I'm still with the letter. Zorro. Make awareness. Late in the fourth quarter of Nuggets Hornets, oh, Will Barton threw the pass off the butt of Cody Martin yes! and slammed the ball home to tie the game. That was, by the way, this tied the game. Will Barton, should this be a bucket and an assist? <laughs> no. By the way, we've got some no. other. Um, yeah, you get the bucket, you don't get an assist. This has been done before. So, it was done last night, or two <laughs> nights ago, when somebody missed the dunk. So West does the opposing to what game player get the assist then? There's Chauncey Billups. Can you get an assist it's for been something done that's a lot. not you on don't, your team? But it, it's been done a lot. But it, you should. Yeah, I think you should. And this too. was a keep. Bucket. No it wasn't assist. a 15 point game. No. Bucket. And he, and he no. looks back. Watch this. He looks back and is like, boy, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. I got gotcha, you, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Look he how loved happy it. he is. He's still eating that. He just on wanted, to, he wanted to get that in. Miss easy buckets. That was an easy bucket just there. Clippers, Rockets. Patrick Beverly oh. was called for a flagrant foul on this play on James Harden. And raise his hand. I Malika, love it. Yeah, I know. Malika, do you agree with this call? That's kind of a, a loose, fragrant, flagrant foul. Oh, no, it's a days again. I love this because it is straight. Yeah, he's like, I get, Rick it. Mahorn, I get it. I get it. Charles <laughs> Oakley playbook. But you, these days, that's a flavor foul. Here's the thing. Neck. Here's the thing. The Harden is slowing up. He did slow up to draw contact. Draw contact. Which he does. And so Beverly's like, I'm not giving you the end one. Let me ask yeah. you something. You think Patrick Beverly and his coach, Doc Rivers, won't gladly take that foul? Flavor well, or not? He's I think clearly it's gladly taking bucks. that I think foul. It's 5, bucks yeah, somebody will pay it. He's got an owner. Last I checked. Well, Beverly is from Chicago. And uh, we got Chicago's own Mike Wilbon here and our former Bulls reporter, Malik Andrews, who used to live in Chicago. So we have to get into Jim Boylan and the Bulls. According to the Chicago Sun-Times, Boylan is planning to ramp up Bulls practices in March, citing the Bulls need to get tougher and increase their effort level. Malika, we're going to start with you. Do you think this is the right idea at this point? Look, we both had conversations with people within the Bulls this morning, and, and they were adamant that... It's not what it looks like. What they're saying is we've had so many people out injured. There are so many people that we need to integrate into the system that we just need a little bit more. But at this point in the season, is it the right thing to do? It's a, it's a hard sell with the players. It's a hard sell. And have had some hard sells oh. with Boylan. It's a hard sell with anybody. And by the way, I understand the logic of it. Totally. Here's the problem. Uh-oh, he's putting on oh, his glasses. Oh, boy. <laughs> As I imitate Tony Corner, uh -oh. I say, I'm going to the glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Otto Porter's missed nearly 50 games. I lost track. 46, 47, something it's like that. It's been a lot. And he's back in the lineup now. Markkanen. The guy goes 35 and 17, disappears for the oh, yes. opening night. <laughs> he goes the rest of the way. You can't, you can't find him. You've got Chris Dunn. You've got Wendell Carter. You've got Denzel Valentine. The only person who's played all the games until this week, of course, was Zach Levine. So the problem with making them practice hard is they can't survive or walk into the building <laughs> without being injured. And so how do you make them look at, look at that list? This is why I picked the Bulls to be seventh or eighth in the in the East. I thought Conference. they might be a borderline playoff team. But you can't thinking, be a borderline guys. playoff team when you have none that of your players. Thinking. Listen, they're missing four Clearly. starters the whole way. Clearly. You thought they're going to be this injured? No, 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 no. But but it just do you fire the training staff? What do you do? No. What do you do about this? Do you change your your draft techniques? 
I mean, what do you do Here's about this know. many games missed in, by in those In training players? camp, Jim Boylan brought out the, the, the punch card clock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is the punch card clock still operating? <laughs> I want to know. The that person who operates the clock is injured. <laughs> he hurt his elbow. But but you know these 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 19 year olds they don't know how to use those things anyway. So I barely know it, how to use it. Does it become <laughs> moot at that point? And and even if Jim is going to be taking guys in and saying we need this extra time, he's got to be able to communicate that because he has lost some of that buy-in with some of these young players. We saw what happened last year when he was going to pull together a practice after an awful lot. You know, it, it, the list keeps going. Here's the thing I'll say about the Bulls. There is still time left for there to be some positivity in this season. Sure. Kobe White has had a terrific last three, four weeks. Yes. What Jim Boylan, I think, means is he's going to have like a little training camp to get everybody back up to speed. Mm. And they still have, you know, they're not making the playoffs, obviously, but they still have time to get some momentum going. And some of these guys are playing for things. Like Laurie Markkinen, who is extension for what? He's extension eligible this summer. <laughs> Who's going to sign him having watched him this year? Chemistry. Than, he gonna he's going to put his opening night 35 and 18 chemistry. on a loop. That's why he's got time. You know what? They're very seldom do I say this. Not making the playoffs, and they're not. This is a failed season for the Chicago Bulls. A failed season. to have. They got nice pieces. They do. But when all of them are off the court all the time, somebody's got to take the hit for this. Either the people who acquired them the people who's coaching them or them. And there's some players I would not only not extend Lori Market in, I wouldn't even entertain it. I would say, you know what, we thank you for your three years of service. Wow. Okay. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports analysis and highlights, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.